Good afternoon, uh, Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Then you hit my soft spot by starting with a story. It's always good, we've talked about this before, it's always great to start with a story. Why? Because it's, you're talking about yourself and everyone believes you. It doesn't matter what lie you're telling, everyone will believe you. You, you have to continue doing that, just don't, don't sporadically use it in speeches. I would recommend, of course, there'll be exceptions, just try to use it in all, all speeches. It doesn't matter how short, how long. And you'll become famous. When you're famous, remember me, your friend Pablo. <laughs> there, you had a short notice on your speech. You were not scheduled to speak today, is that right? That's right. And you volunteered. I uh, uh, congratulate you for that. And that forced you to be behind the laptop and try to use your references. And I didn't want to be too harsh on that. But you were back there I, for a reason. But you were still holding your pen. So you lost your body and you lost one hand. So you only had one hand to, to do some gestures which you were aligned with, uh, with the speech. But you could have dropped the pen and used those two hands and your face, which you use really well, and your head and your upper body to convey uh, messages with your body that relate to what you were saying, right? To, to your speech. There is one thing that I'm going to nag you about, which is time. It's not your time, it's our time. So respect it. It's a good habit. It's, that's why we're so strict about that, because we tend to say, well, just a little bit, five minutes later, five minutes later. It's not your time, it's everyone's time. So just remember that. The speech was awesome, so I, you know, I give you that. It was enjoyable to, keep you, to continue to listen to your speech. But don't forget that it's not your time. Simple and easy going to be burned for the rest of my day. And my simple, sorry, it's not equal to easy. It's going to be burned on my, on my visual cortex for the rest of the day. A fellow Toastmasters, that's a good example of good usage of uh, slides. It's there to complement or to actually get to the point of all the new speak that you're saying in your speech. Ah. Just talking and talking and talking and talking. But you see, it's easy. It's not uh, uh, simple is not easy. It's like, okay, what, where is it and what he's saying? So it keeps you engaged and it gets to the point. I congratulate you for that, for that and uh, try to give that speech again because it's an awesome speech. <laughs>